Virgin with a gun talking about coronavirus again. We're here at the Worldometer site again and we're looking at data now in mid August of 2020. As some of you may recall, I did another video a few weeks ago which got pretty good responses. And ultimately, uh, we were talking about deaths per million comparing Sweden to the US. And I was getting a lot of uh, flack on the death rate at Sweden, or in Sweden at the time. And I said, based on the fact that they had started reducing greatly the number dying of the disease, which I believe is herd immunity, that at the rate at which the US was catching up, soon the US would meet and then later surpass Sweden regarding the actual death count in counts per million. Well now, if we look at my old video, we'll see that back in late July, the number per million dead in Sweden was 561, which was number seven on the list worldwide. The US at the time was number 11 at 441 per million. Well now, here we are in mid-August, August 13th to be exact, and uh, the story is different. Now the U.S. has almost completely caught up. Now the U.S. is number 10 on the world list if you want to look at total deaths per million. We're at 513. Sweden is at 572, which is only a little greater than it was three weeks ago, at which time it was 561. And as I'd said before, herd immunity doesn't just go away. If you want to look at their daily deaths, again from Worldometer, in the last several weeks, they have zero to three deaths a day since early, actually since late July. So they have achieved herd immunity. There's very little doubt in my mind. And I think in the next month or so, if the patterns continue, they will be shown to have made the smartest move with regards to not locking down and actually not closing their schools is what I'm also hearing which is therefore, uh, has basically resulted in herd immunity as the healthiest people got exposed to the virus, didn't die from it in any significant number, and actually protected the rest of the population via the herd immunity model. So uh, it looks like in, I'd say, roughly a month, if you want to look at the uh, current projections, just the rate at which the U.S. is still losing and Sweden is losing very few. The U.S. probably will catch up in deaths per million somewhere in the neighborhood of early to mid-September, at which time Sweden will not have locked down. Projections of their economy in quarter two show a loss of about 8% by measures I saw online, and the U.S. in that same period of time has lost about 33%. So what is there actually to learn from this? I think the, the uh, data shows that opening the schools to healthy children makes a lot of sense because the aim, in my opinion, should be to obtain herd immunity and not to continue lockdowns which are economically devastating and seem to have no real effect on the long-term dead which is what we're trying to minimize. I think the two balancing factors should be preserve the economy and minimize the dead and try not to overwhelm the healthcare system. So again, we'll see what ultimately occurs, but in my opinion, Sweden is still shown to have done a very good job with this. And uh, I'm hoping other countries learn from the example and follow. Thank you very much.